Um, now, for rendering, is some, sometimes um, it takes a little while to, you know, set up the different material settings because once you, for example, you, when you download something from uh, from the warehouse, uh, those objects are beautiful uh, sometimes with with very detailed texture and so on. But the material settings uh, sometimes they just simply yes. do not contain enough information to mm -hmm. be able to render them correctly because there is no reflection, there is no transparency, there is no no physical material property that we could import. So to be able to handle that easily and all the rest, actually, uh, there is something called render styles. And for that, let me just close this. I will load the uh, this project. This is a you might be familiar with this project if you saw uh, any of our rendering tutorials because we use this uh, for those. And that what I did here, I just um, set up this view. And in this view, uh, when I do the quick rendering, let's just go with the rendered option and go with an integrated rendering real time because I would like to have continuous uh, feedback on what I do. So let's go with start rendering. Yep. Yeah. So now a new window will appear uh, with the rendering inside and I will be able to follow changes, whatever I do uh, here uh, in the 3D. So let's just reorganize the content. So we will see this appearing on the right hand side, starting rendering, mm -hmm. there's the 2D and there's the 3D. Yes. So now what happens? I would like to, as fast as possible, I would like to set up reflections, uh, realistic materials and, and everything like that. Now, what I could do, um, I, anyways, I just, you know, right click here and find the material and go to the settings and change that. That's fine. I can do that whenever I want. But there is a quicker way to do that. There is actually this render styles here. And see what happens if I, for example, uh, click and drag ceiling as a material style. It's remember, this is not a material. This is a rendering style for the material. So what happens if I click and drag, uh, for example, this to the ceiling and I click there. Now the tone of the ceiling won't, ch uh, won't change. It's changing the, uh, the material properties. Perhaps the ceiling is a little bit more reflective. Perhaps yes. the so, so these those are details sets. you can just drag and drop, and then the yeah. the features, <coughs> the properties would would uh, appear. I, well, this was not that much visible. So let's go to the to the floor to see it's it much better. So what happens if I change the the, the floor to glossy covering? See, it it looks like a, a um, kind of you know toy ball here, a, a glossy toy ball. If I click and drag and, and click and paste it here, it won't oh, turn so red. Awesome. So this is not the material. It's just the it's just reflection the, um, type. Yes, I, I get what you're saying. It's not, <laughs> it's just it's not the physics. What's, on the, what's on the image, but the, uh, the kind hmm. of appearance. Yeah, that's the physics of how it will look like, how it will reflect or not, how it will behave in the 3D environment. So if I do that with the, with the, with the marble, I know there's a, there's a wooden pattern, but still you can drag any of those so it, it would have some kind so of a it soft... It will change uh, how it looks yes. like in the 3D. This is, this is kind of more marble-like, even though it has yes. um, a wooden texture. You can actually use pocket. That's also a very good and very nice option. You see it's a little bit darker on the right-hand side, still mm -hmm. reflective, but not that perfectly reflective, and so on and so on. So this is how you can go with that. Let me just quickly change the, uh, the view so you can, easy, uh, you can see it uh, easier. Uh, also, a few uh, about other, other type of materials. Let's just work on this here. For example, let's, ag let's again go with uh, glossy covering glossy, here. Yes. Oh yes, well, I, see, okay. I see the result. That's nice. Uh, Do you let's want to go. tone it down a bit? So let's, let's turn them all glass, how it looks oh. like. So see, easily you can find it. So you won't change the material. You, I mean, you won't select materials and change them all over. You just change their, uh, their behavior. Mm -hmm. Let's just go how it looks like in plastic and how it looks like if it's porcelain and so on. So this is how you go around and make changes easily. Perfect. You That's can test that. They're, they're pretty, uh, you know, there's water, glass, uh, curtain, fabric, and all those settings that you can see. For example, here on this, this back wall, this is the last that I'm about to show you now. Uh, what happens if I use frosted glass? So uh, there's, a, there's actually an opening to the background area. So I would like to see through a little bit, but not that clearly. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine, but perhaps that's that's just a storage. It's not that much pretty, so yes. I just change it to either general or plastic. Or there's actually a wall setting here, this one, so you can just you know click and drag and make it wall. So it's 
giving you kind of the wall effect, which is not mm -hmm. not reflective, but giving you some kind of oh, yeah. shininess from from a certain angle. Perfect. Makes it makes it very <coughs> easy. <coughs> yes. Yes. So to <coughs> sum up, these are the things that we wanted to talk about at this stage of the. Yeah, you have. Don't forget what you say. would like to say. One last word okay. about this, because there is one uh, representation there. As you can see, there are those uh, little rectangles over there or squares, what do they mean? color codes. Those color codes help me to find if I if I maintained uh, all the materials that I I wanted to maintain. Perhaps I'm not that clear on the rendering because this is just a you know sketch rendering. This is not the final. I have to start a, a final render to figure out whether all the reflections are perfect or not. Uh, but to be able to fast uh, to to make it make this process quicker, I can change this view to color coded. This color code tells me that if I, you know, if I find it, if I click and drag here, this one, this is pocket. I can clearly see that's the same tone here and here. I see. So I can easily find what you... It basically tells you what kind of <coughs> styles you have currently on your yeah. model. So if I use Chrome here, I can clearly see all those are Chrome, which mm -hmm. is visible now in the rendering. But if I wouldn't have rendering, I still would be able to tell that those are Chrome surfaces because I'd use this color-coded uh, version. And uh, I think uh, one... Uh, information uh, is is meant to talk about i mean i mean worth talking about is, is uh, you should uh, avoid mud in a realistic rendering as much as possible i'm not talking about the tiny details because for example some some tiny far off thing uh, would 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 be pretty and nice with with a matte material but most of the materials will go much better and they will be much more realistic with all the rest of the materials. So the, your goal when you work with this color coded click and drag and 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 uh, change is to is to uh, skip matte materials in sacrifice of rendering time, mm -hmm. of course, because when there is less matte material, then then rendering time goes up. But your your goal is to 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 kind of trying to find the best balance. And when you are finished with that, you can just restore the view, and then you can just uh, you know even close this uh, back and work with the rest of the software.